Good morning from Denpasar Airport in Bali. We've only got, what is it? In fact, we've got six days left in Indonesia, but we made, I don't know if this is quite stupid, a last minute decision at midnight last night to do one final trip within this little two and a half month adventure that we've had. And that's to go to the island of Lombok. So we booked the flight at 12 o'clock yesterday. Monica was then desperately looking for accommodation. We left at 7 a.m. on our scooter over to Bali Airport. Our flight, which is half an hour, takes off in about an hour's time. And then we land in Lombok Airport. We're hoping we can find a scooter at the airport or something. Then it's half an hour ride down to our hotel, right on the southerly most point of Lombok. Now we've been to Lombok about four years ago or so and it had a feeling of still very much an untouched paradise there, so I'm hoping not much has changed since then. Can't wait, we've got three nights, four days, we will take you around on the first of those days, so we'll show you our apartment, hopefully picking up the bike, and I think just some of the most breathtaking white sandy beaches. It looks glorious, and if my memory serves me correctly, we were only there for a day last time, but it was a very, very special place. This is what 47 pounds a night gets you in the south. This is called, it's Kuta, isn't it? Yes. This is Kuta. So funnily enough, exactly the same name as one of the touristy areas of Bali, but it's very different in Lombok to Bali. Monica was looking at apartments yesterday. The, the choice is way smaller. Mm -hmm. Little outdoor space, beautiful bed area. I'd say it's pretty good value. It looks lovely now, but I'm just, I know what's going to happen at night. I know. I know what it's like in these kinds of areas. There are going to be all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But they've done it really well. It's you a have to place. shower before sunset. Yeah, and also seal all the doors <laughs> with sellotape or something like that because I know what will be coming through the doors otherwise. But it's immaculately clean. It's beautiful. In fact, Monica, I'm going mm -hmm. to let you flip round here 
we have to show you a bit of the outside area because it's been so beautifully landscaped. We're, we're about three, probably three minute ride from, from the main tourist street and I can't wait to show you it because uh, I'll show you it before I, I get talking about it. It's so different to Bali, but look at this, it's lovely. Beautiful. Landscaped area, lots of different, I don't know if they're vegetables, but lots of lovely plants mm -hmm. and stuff. Chilling area over there. Mm -hmm. And then the pool area, you can probably just see a glimpse there, mm -hmm. over there. And these are all individual villas of, of varying sizes. Mm -hmm. But not easy getting a place here. Mm -hmm. A lot of stuff was sold out. Because it was very last minute. Yeah. And we did book about 10 hours before checking in. The ride, a number plateless. What is this, a Honda? Oh, a Honda Vario. It looks quite new. It, this is probably the newest looking bike we've had. Have a look at this dash when you turned it on. Oh, wow. wow. I mean, look at that. This is <laughs> four pounds a day, straight mm -hmm. from the hotel. No negotiating needed at all, four pounds. So we're going to go now to a beach, which is about half an hour away. But I should say just a bit about, so I almost fell through there, a bit about the history of Lombok. It's such an interesting place because when you get into the airport at Lombok, everything's huge, grand. The roads outside are massive. You get out of the airport. I think we may have included a bit of B-roll before, but the airport's huge. There's no one there. It's completely empty. The flight was 25% full at max, and this is a small plane with just two seats on either side. Arrive at the airport, completely dead everywhere. You get outside of the airport, and then you're met with probably 25 to 30 different people desperately trying to sell you taxis to get you to the touristy area. Because we were the only tourists, really. I mean, maybe there was one, possibly two other Aussie couples, but that's it. So everyone's trying to fight for a tiny amount of business. And then you're, you're driving along in a taxi. Beautiful, massive roads that Bali would be proud of, which is much busier. But again, no one on the roads at all. I think there are two reasons for this, or definitely at least one. There was an awful earthquake in 2018, and Lombok, before then, was tipped to be one of the big tourist hubs in the whole of Indonesia. Mm -hmm. The fastest growing. It, yeah, it was, wasn't mm -hmm. it? The fastest growing spot in Indonesia. Earthquake happened, devastated a huge amount, especially up north of Lombok, mm -hmm. just stopped it. Then you had COVID that came along. Mm -hmm. And it seems that everything just kind of stalled and hasn't carried on from there. So it's a place with really good infrastructure. You've also got the MotoGP that's in Lombok as well. So great roads around there. But as far as we've seen so far, it's so quiet. Let's show you some of it.
10 minutes from the beach, which is just up this hill. And I hope Monaco's managed to capture some of it because this feels like another world compared to Bali. To have open roads, as far as the eye can see, and the predominant, or the majority of them, race track smooth, with no one around at all, so much open space, stunning scenery, rolling hills, views of the ocean on large parts of the road as well. It is breathtakingly stunning, really. If you don't like lots of traffic and you prefer more peaceful life, then Lombok over Bali is the place. It is completely spectacular. It's got a, certainly in the south here, where we are at least, I haven't been to the north yet, but it's got a real untouched feel about it. It's, oh, it's magical. Really is a very special place. And this is just the first 20 minutes or so. Going through the first few villages, you can see uh, it's very obviously a predominantly Muslim island because you have mosques every so often and you've got the music coming from all of the mosques. And then of course, you have people wearing the headscarves and things like that. So that is an obvious difference. People as friendly as ever though, whether it's Bali or Lombok, lovely, lovely bunch of people. I can just see the cattle crossing the road, blocking all of the riders and then the Farmers come across to try and shoo them along. Oh, this island. It's so special. I haven't seen anything that comes even close to this. This is by far the nicest beach that I've seen anywhere so far in the past two and a half months. It is dream level beach. Really one of the most incredible beaches, possibly the most stunning beach I've ever seen. I'm not 100% sure of the name, but I'll include the name and the details of this beach in the written description below. A few people surfing behind and the whole cove is just surrounded by these mountains to the right and over to the left there. Turquoise sea, white sand, little bars just dotted along the beach. Nothing big or modern, just hayline shacks and things like that with some drinks, a little bit of simple food and then sun lounges which are five pounds for two for as long as you want. Fishing boats just in the distance and it's worth coming to Lombok even just for a single beach like this because it is it's completely mind-blowing. This is definitely a popular surfing spot for beginners because the surf school's behind me and you can see all of these people on in the shallow water with the small waves learning how to surf. And I hope the camera can pick it up, but just in the distance there's a sandy cove over there that's completely secluded. No one on that one at all. And then another one further in the distance over there as well and the little islands just dot all the way along with one in the middle
Well, we've just finished dinner. The sun has set behind me and I'm on the touristy high street in the southerly most point of Lombok. And while there are a lot of bikes here, you can see the difference between the heart of the touristy area here in Lombok compared to Bali, which is completely gridlocked all the time. I'd love to hear from anyone from who used to be in Bali in the, the 70s and 80s. Is this a little bit what Bali would have been like, let's say 40 years or so ago? It really has that kind of feel for me. It's a lovely place. Right, we've got three days left here. We'll just do, we'll do some riding, some exploring. I can't wait. It feels like a magical place. Right, we'll end it there. Thank you so much everyone for coming along. Please do give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. See you all in the next one.